Have you ever wondered how the first humans arrived in America? The most popular theory suggests a journey across a land bridge known as the Bering Strait during the last ice age. But how can we be sure this really happened? Puzzling, isn't it? This question about our ancestors' journey is more than just a historical curiosity. It's a deep dive into the roots of humanity, a quest to understand where we come from and how we've adapted and survived. It's about interpreting evidence, unraveling mysteries, and challenging established beliefs. Let's explore the evidence that supports this theory and some that challenges it. Right here today on Documentify TV. The Bering Strait theory, named after the waterway between Siberia and Alaska, suggests a land bridge existed here during the last ice age. It's believed that humans migrated from Asia to North America across this bridge. During the last ice age, which peaked around 20,000 years ago, sea levels dropped significantly. This drop exposed a stretch of land connecting Siberia and Alaska, creating a convenient pathway for migration. This land bridge, often referred to as Beringia, was not a narrow icy causeway but a vast grassy plain teeming with life. It's estimated that humans began crossing this bridge around 15,000 years ago, although recent discoveries have prompted a re-evaluation of these dates. Eventually, as the Ice Age ended and the planet warmed, sea levels rose and Beringia was submerged, severing the link between the continents. This theory has been widely accepted due to various pieces of evidence. But what is this evidence, you may ask? Archaeological findings, genetic evidence, and climate data all support the Bering Strait theory. Let's delve into these points one at a time. First, archaeological findings. There's a fascinating collection of tools and artifacts found on both sides of the Bering Strait that show striking similarities. These items, often dated to the same period, suggest a common origin or at least an active exchange between the two regions. This points to the possibility of humans crossing the Bering Strait during the last ice age. Next up is genetic evidence. DNA analysis of indigenous peoples in Asia and North America has revealed genetic markers common to both groups. These genetic links are a strong indication of a shared ancestry. In other words, at some point, these two groups were one and the same, likely before the separation caused by the migration across the Bering Strait. Lastly, we have climate data. Paleoclimatic studies have shown that during the last ice age, sea levels were significantly lower than they are today. This drop in sea levels would have exposed a vast land bridge connecting Asia and North America, known as Beringia. This land bridge would have provided a feasible route for humans to migrate from Asia to North America. So the evidence seems quite compelling. But is there any evidence that disputes this theory? Indeed, there are findings that challenge the Bering Strait theory. The most recent of these discoveries are the ancient footprints unearthed in White Sands National Park, New Mexico. These footprints, dating back between 21 and 23,000 years ago, suggest that humans may have set foot in North America earlier than the Bering Strait theory allows. A recent study published in Science has confirmed the age of the footprints using pollen grains and quartz crystal analysis. This discovery has sparked a lively debate among experts and prompted a re-evaluation of established beliefs about early human migration into the Americas. In addition to these footprints, it's interesting to consider the environmental conditions of the last ice age. It's not hard to imagine that the harsh, freezing conditions would have made the journey across the Bering Strait nearly impossible. Some argue that navigating such a treacherous landscape would have been too great a feat, casting further doubt on the theory. In the face of these findings, the question arises, could humans have arrived in North America via other routes? Perhaps by sea? As suggested by some of the evidence, these questions are not easily answered and contribute to the ongoing debate surrounding the first human presence in North America. So there's a lot of debate on this topic. And it's these debates that drive science and our understanding of the past forward. As we've seen, there's compelling evidence both for and against the Bering Strait theory. On one hand, we have the age-old belief of the Bering Strait as the gateway for early humans into North America. On the other, Recent discoveries in New Mexico present an intriguing counter-narrative, suggesting an earlier arrival, possibly via ocean routes. These ancient footprints and fossil finds have seemingly pushed back the timeline, challenging established theories and sparking a re-evaluation. Yet such is the nature of scientific research, a constant tug-of-war between new findings and existing knowledge. Remember, our understanding of the past is always evolving. Who knows what future discoveries may reveal about our ancient ancestors and their journey to the Americas? We think there will be more to be discovered, 
What are your thoughts? Start the conversation in the comments. Until then, see you in the next video.